Hey guys, welcome back to uh, BA Performance. Sunshine and Panda here. Uh, it's been a little while since we made a video. Yeah, been busy, uh, been doing busy. things. Yeah, so I bought a new house. Uh, I got a new shop. Looks like that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, yep. And, uh, I got a, uh, a new car. <laughs> What'd you get, Matt? Pretty big. Oh, very big. <laughs> Got the wood grain. So what is it? Buick Roadmaster uh, state wagon. State so wagon. it's got the third third row seating that faces backwards. It's got a tailgate that opens and uh, also opens like a barn door. It's got a Chevy five liter V8 in it with I believe a 744R or something like that. Okay. I don't know transmission. Automatic. Uh, yeah, it yeah. goes like uh, zero to sixty eventually. Eventually, <laughs> she's fun. She's yeah. a boat. How's it ride? Uh, what have you been doing with it? It's like driving a uh, sofa, basically, yeah. to work. It's uh, floats around on the road, drives just like you would imagine an actual <laughs> boat to drive. Uh, it's my new daily driver. The BMW is now gone. Uh, time to move on to some different things and some more content. <laughs> awesome. I think uh, you should pull it out here so we can get a better look. All right. Nineties fashion, you gotta have your your fake wood grain vinyl. Fake wood grain, yeah. Uh, you got a, a moonroof, you know, in the middle because that helps the driver a lot. But it's still cool to sit in the middle and look out. Oh yeah. The uh, the entire back end of this thing folds down. Uh, as you can see, it's already a bed for uh, Stoker. Got the dog bed in there, yeah. tailgate which that's pretty nice for loading stuff but even better yet get barn door oh that's dual, pretty neat dual right? action right yeah so then you can uh, actually seat up to eight people in there. oh wow this is like it's pretty cool six in the front two in the back huh <laughs> yeah pretty cool it's got uh, you know some storage back here uh, but otherwise, you know, it's on a truck chassis, so you're able to actually haul or tow quite a bit for a station wagon car. Right, for a car, basically, yeah. It's got the trailer hitch, came with the trailer hitch. Needs a little bit of TLC, but uh, this is what it's going to be. Basically, it's pretty dope. Yeah. Big old boat. Yeah, so it looks like it's got some pretty new tires on it. Yeah, it came with brand new tires. Uh, all the way around. I'm gonna keep opening and closing that door. <laughs> and uh, guy who owned it before took great care of it. Love this car. Had it for five years. Put a lot of maintenance into it. So uh, yeah, here it is in all of its glory. Yeah, you should uh, take us for a ride and uh, tell us about stuff inside of it. All right, let's go. So. Okay, so today I learned that you can hold down the third row seat, and I always just pulled this little cover over that would cover the whole deck here. Yeah. But I just realized that this actually latches down in there, so that you can keep it like a flat oh. surface. Otherwise, it was bending right here up at all the time. Right. It's not latches in there. That's pretty dope. Yeah. 
Probably the best interior. There's what tan or tan or red or red. So probably the best thing about this car, gauges gives you them all, everything you need. Yeah, there's quite a few there. Six. Yeah, you get you know your speedometer, RPM gauge, fuel actual oil pressure, temp, uh, coolant temperature, and uh, your voltmeter. voltmeter. Nice. Yeah, it feels pretty smooth. We're going through my driveway, which is kind of bumpy. It's like off-roading. Yeah. But you wouldn't know in this thing. Puts you in the seat a little bit. So yeah, I don't know if it's the torque or all the weight it, shifting. It's the weight shifting. The weight shifting, yeah. So in later years, they actually put uh, the same engine that was in the Corvette at the time, the LT1, and it was supposed to have a significant amount more power, a lot more stuff you could do for modifications for it, but the five liter seems to be the more reliable one, even though it's less desirable. Right. But I don't know. I don't need the Corvette engine in it. It's plenty good enough. This is actually my first V8. Oh yeah? I believe so, yeah. Interesting. And then uh, on top of that, the LT1 had the Opti Spark, which was very problematic. Right, yeah, that's so a pain in the butt. This does not. You have like a regular distributor. Correct. Yeah. Which is still inconveniently placed, but <laughs> less problematic. Brakes, they're, they're a suggestion, but they're there. <laughs> it's actually got really good brakes, it's just a lot of weight to stop. Right. Yeah, this thing's pretty heavy. I believe it's around, it's a little over 4,000 pounds, like Ooh, maybe 4,200 pounds, something like that. Don't really remember, I believe the horsepower is something like uh, 160 horsepower. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I couldn't tell you what the foot pounds torque mm -hmm. are, but they're probably not much. Yeah. But for a cruiser, which would essentially have been a family cruiser back in the day, but now it's just a, <laughs> Old man cruiser. Old man cruiser. Well, you're only 30. Turned 30, got rid of a sports car, and picked up a... A car that's as old as me. Station wagon, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 30-year-old car to go with a 30-year-old guy. I mean, it <laughs> makes sense, right? Yeah, totally. What other uh, kind of kooky features that we got here? Uh, so you got an updated CD player. Yeah, the least. previous owner put in... It, there's no, it's not a CD player. There is no CDs. It doesn't, it doesn't take CDs. CDs. It's just Bluetooth because it's missing oh. an antenna. So it's even newer than a uh, CD player. Yep. Which, thank God they did that, because I looked into how to switch it out, and you have to take this entire dash bezel apart, oh, yeah. which involves taking part of the lower dash apart. Um, it's got uh, fancy, very fancy for its time, uh, climate control, automatic, but there's no way to adjust where the air comes out other than your uh, actual windshield defroster. Okay, you can do defrost or automatic. Or automatic. Well, there's econ which is just automatic, but only outside air. But only outside air. And then you can check your external temperature, which is also very uh, fancy for Right, for a 91. 90s. Yeah. But it's the Buick and it's not the Chevy, so you right. would have a little bit better and stuff. They did, that's a good point that you say there too, because they made the Chevy Captiva, which was, uh, this, or not Captiva, but the Chevy... Uh, Caprice. Right? Caprice, yes. Yeah. Which was a station wagon. Same thing, just a little different front end. They also made the uh, Oldsmobile cu Custom Cruiser, which was the same thing as well, just an Oldsmobile version. Um, later they made the sedan version where there, it was just a big trunk in the back, which a lot of people seem to desire those as well. Yeah. It's actually pretty, there's a pretty good community around this car too as Isn't well. Isn't it like similar to like an Impala? Um, kinda, or no? Sort of. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how, but I know that people compare it to like the Impala and that there is a lot of parts that are on the Impala that can be used for this, as well as some Cadillacs. Oh, okay. I don't know what kind, though. Early 90s. Yeah, early 90s. Early when, 90s. I, when they were GM. just using all the same stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So how is it like uh, parking it and stuff like that? It's not bad. It's not bad. If you've driven a truck before, it's it just kind of feels like driving a truck that's slower. <laughs> yeah. Do you get any like looks from other people? Oh yeah, you get around? thumbs up all the time. I've had multiple people offer to buy the car already, and uh, you know, people just wondering what it is and how old it is and where it's from. Well, I've had one guy think that it was actually from the 70s, huh. but uh, until not not 20 years newer, 20 years newer than that, he's like, oh, so you bought it from the from the dealership new? I had to tell him. I was like, no, I bought it last week. <laughs> <laughs> I would have bought it when it was brand new. I would have been a year old, you know, but pretty good job on my part if I'm buying one at that age. Yeah. All the power. That's Florida. And 30 it's miles smoother when you floor it from like <laughs> going five than though you just take off from going zero. Yeah, to moving. True. Once you get this barge moving, yeah, there's a lot well, of That's weight. all the boost. There we go, floored. <laughs> 30. 40. 50. We're not even, there we go, 60 miles an hour. No idea how uh, how fast that 060 is, but it is not fast. <laughs> well, you said more uh, content. What kind of things? Uh, so we got some uh, little maintenance things we got to do here in the future. Um, mainly bulbs is where we're going to start. I'd like to uh, address the actual surface rust on the roof. And um, I don't know. There was a whole bunch of other stuff, I'm sure, but I'm forgetting. But, you know, we're going to bring you along for all that content. And... Uh, Hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be a whole different uh, platform for us to work on. We don't really have anything even GM other than the engine that's in the top. Yeah, boat. totally. So we've never really worked on anything GM. Um, I've only owned like one other American vehicle before now, so that's something in its own too. Yeah. You know, well, we don't really have we don't have any domestic vehicles. Well, the Dodge. Oh, the Dodge. Yeah. But yeah, yeah that hasn't been. On since the spring right. we had an episode but right forget about it yeah exactly <laughs> but anyways so uh you guys should definitely hit the like button subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think uh, we should do to it in the future um any idea is a good idea so <laughs> tell us that uh, otherwise yeah you guys uh peace out Broadcast performance is what it stands for.